It's four o'clock, and we started, and uh, I'd like to call the meeting of the City Planning Commission to order. Chad, would you please call the roll? Mayor Vandersteen? Here. Older Person Boren? Here. Ryan Sazma? Here. Jerry Jones? Marilyn Montemeyer? David Huffman? Here. Don Sfitan? Here. We have a quorum. Thank you very much. Next item is the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand and join me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, next item is introduction of uh, our committee members. I'm Mike Vandersteen, Mayor of the City of Sheboygan. Dave Hoffman, committee member. Chad Pelishek, planning director. Steve Soklowski from the planning department. Uh, Ryan Salzman, Department of Public Works. John Sweetown, member. Welcome Alderman member. Jim Boren from the 10th, 10th District. I'm the alderman on the uh, plan commission. Thank you, everyone. Um, next item is uh, to identify any possible conflicts of interest with items on the agenda. Does anyone have a conflict? Seeing none, we'll move on to the minutes. Uh, item is to approve the uh, Planning Commission minutes from June 9th of 2020. I'd accept the motion. So move. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the minutes? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Then we'll move on to items for discussion and possible action. Uh, item 3.1 is a site plan application by ACE Building Services to construct a new building addition at Torganall, located at 4617 South Taylor Drive. Steve? All right. Uh, Tom Testweed is here from Torganall, as well as Chris Herzog from AC Building Services. And uh, we've seen these guys a couple of times over the years, and they're coming back again. Um, we're taking a look at their uh, the Torganall facility at 4617 South Taylor Drive, uh, which they've done a few expansions on. This one, we're taking a look at an office expansion, and they're proposing to construct about a 4,500 square foot uh, office addition on the south side of their manufacturing portion of the facility. The existing office is about 4,000 square feet, so that'll bring the total of the office space uh, to the facility about 8,400, and all of the combined square footage to approximately 158,000 square feet. Um, presently, Torganall indicates that there are staff members either sharing offices or working out of conference rooms. Um, the office addition will allow these employees to have their own workspace to improve efficiency, communication, while creating a more professional setting for their associates in customer service uh, administration and management. Uh, the addition will better organize and streamline sales staff functionality, which in turn will bolster their overall business and better respond to domestic and international client demand. It's their intention to commence construction as soon as feasible and presumably the latter half of July of 2020, so sometime this summer. Um, Torganol, again, is manufacturer and supplier of decorative materials for use with resinous flooring systems. And Torganol manufactures stores and ship flakes, pigments, and granules from its existing facility located at Taylor Drive. And the facility also has office space for all the daily business operations. In addition, um, what's the uh, address off of... Uh, for, uh, they recently, about a year ago, a little less? They also bought the uh, uh, facility over there, which was office services, I believe. And that's another 100 and 135,000 square feet. So Torganol, since they've come into the city, has done quite a bit of an expansion. And um, you know, again, they're here today with regards to the office addition. Architecture Review had looked at it last night, uh, approved it. And the only other aspect of it is, is they're also creating a little bit of a, a deck off of this office addition as well. So I can answer any questions. And then the applicants are here as well. Thank you very much for that report, Steve. Mr. Testweed, uh, anything you'd like to add, please step up to the microphone. 
No, we're just, we're real excited. It's uh, primarily for customer service. Uh, we serve a lot of customers on the East Coast and the West Coast. Uh, so right now we're, we're out of space. And uh, like uh, Steve mentioned, it's um, you know, sharing offices and using conference space. Um, so we're, we, we're also in the process, we're gonna move one of our large divisions from our Taylor Drive operation over to the Tower Drive operation. So Taylor is gonna be manufacturing and then Tower is gonna be uh, really warehousing and order fulfillment. Uh, but the both facilities have worked out uh, just great for us. They're, they're close by and we're really, really pleased out in the business park. I'd, I'd say most of our employees probably reside uh, in the city of Sheboygan or nearby. Um, so it's uh, AC, we've worked with them on different projects. And one thing I mentioned yesterday is if you drive by our building right now, the paint varies because of the original building and then a 2014 edition and 2016 edition. Uh, so when this office is done, we're gonna repaint the entire building. Uh, and then we anticipate also pa repainting the Tower Drive building so it all, all matches nicely. Very good, well, congratulations on your success on this uh, future expansion. Thank you. Commissioners, any questions or motions? Make a motion to approve. Second. We have a motion to approve and a second on the floor. Uh, is there any discussion? Seeing none, would, the, would Chad please call the roll? Mayor Vandersteen? Aye. Alderperson Boren? Aye. Ryan Sazma? Aye. Dave Huffman? Aye. Don Sviton? Aye. Motion passes. Congratulations, and thank you for coming today. Thank you, thank you. And congratulations on this wonderful city hall renovation. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank Thanks. you. All this glass, nobody can get away with anything. <laughs> Transparency. <laughs> okay, then moving on, uh, item 3.2 is review and amend the site plan previously approved conditional use and variance application by Rogers Behavioral Health to construct and operate six unit uh, community-based residential facility, a CBRF, and an independent outpatient uh, meeting building from the vacant and undeveloped property located at 1108 South Wildwood Avenue, located south of all these between Taylor Drive and Wildwood Avenue. Steve? All right. Um, I believe uh, Jack Collier from Rogers Behavioral Health is on the line, as well as Steve Pesky from Distinctive Design, who's yeah. helping uh, who's helping in uh, the development as well. I don't know if there's anyone else on the line for this project. Okay, so as the and myself sounds good. Thanks, Jack. Um, uh, the Plant Commission is aware that in March of this year we had previously approved the conditional use and site plan for this particular project. Um, after that time of that approval, the applicants had an opportunity to do some more research on the property and site itself. And based on their findings, they've proposed some slightly amended site plans. And some of those uh, uh, changes include um, based upon the, include, based, um, based, based, uh, based upon the soil borings taken at the original conditional use permit submittal, the outpatient building will be shifted 20 feet south and 30 feet east to get subsoils that'll be able to support the footing and foundation. Um, based upon soil borings, a large portion of the existing subgrade material needs to be removed from the site and therefore they uh, drop the proposed finished floor of the outpatient facility, the west structure, and this allows them to work with uh, Sheboygan County and City of uh, Sheboygan Engineering to remove the previous retaining wall along the Taylor Drive side of the site and grade up to the existing pedestrian path along Taylor Drive. Um, the shift of the outpatient building, uh, the owner has requested that they add as much employee parking as possible. So there was an additional eight uh, parking spaces that were added. Um, with regards to the soil borings and the community-based residential facility, they needed to move that building a little bit to the, e the east structure and shift that building a little bit west and slightly south, as well as raise the finished floor. And uh, based on that CBRF building location change, North parking lot will now have a 10 foot high reta uh, retaining wall. And uh, the reason for the increase in the floor was because there were some um, 
uh, groundwater levels around that area. So other than that, the site plan has changed a little bit, but everything else about it, you can see the drawings that uh, were approved at architectural review last night, some very nice drawings and nice development on this property. We've been working on this a long time and finally had something come in with Rogers and uh, they've done a nice job and staff was recommending approval with the conditions you have before you. Thank you very much for that report, Steve. Gentlemen, would you like to add anything else to Steve's presentation? I think Steve did a great job of just outlining the changes and the amendments to the plan and uh, we're uh, happy to present that to you today. Very good. Um, commissioners, I'd entertain any discussion or motions. Motion to approve. Uh, Mayor, this is Alderman Boren. I would make a motion to approve subject to conditions. Second. Did you have the second then, David? Second. Okay, thank you. <laughs> we have a motion on the floor. Um, is there any other discussion on the motion? Seeing none, would Chad please call the roll? Mayor Vandersteen. Aye. Alderperson Boren. Aye. Ryan Sazma. Aye. Dave Huffman? Aye. Don Sidon? Aye. Motion passes. Th well, th thank you very much for uh, your presentation and uh, good luck with your project, gentlemen. Thank you, everybody, for the great support from the city of Sheboygan. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Looking for a motion to adjourn? Make a motion to adjourn. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. All those in favor of adjournment, please signify by saying aye. 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 We stand aye. opposed. We stand adjourned. Thank you much for your time today. Aye.